Started out as an outfielder. Move out of the way, so I don't die here. I'm gonna move over to my next, my good friend Jack here, and he's gonna be my screen. Oh, so if a flyer, if a ground ball, or if a flyer, throw gets away, I want you to jump in front and save me. All right? There's not many guys that do that for I do that for you. <laughs> but as I was saying, Bell uh, converted from an outfielder to first base. He's still kind of learning the ropes. Uh, I was talking to some scouts a couple days ago. And uh, about his progress, uh, still a lot of rough edges from what the scouts tell me. Uh, whether it's both throwing and positioning, there's a lot of things to learn when you go from outfield to first base. Uh, footwork, when to go after a ball, when to let the second baseman handle it, how to make throws. Uh, it's a different kind of throwing when you're throwing in the infield as opposed to the outfield. Bring him up in September. I don't, I think if the Pirates have to bring up Josh Bell in September, considering he's a double A now. Uh, then they've got some serious problems and you can pretty much forget about those uh, postseason <laughs> dreams. I think Josh is still a couple of three years away. Uh, he's not hitting for a ton of power, which was something when he was first drafted, I thought he might be able to do. But I was talking with him before the game about an hour or so ago, and you know he was saying that it's important, and the Pirates are telling him it's important, just to kind of be yourself, be the kind of hitter that you naturally are, and then from there, let things develop. Or I like cricket. I've never played cricket. Uh, so, got nothing for you there. Sorry. Twenty-seven or eighteen? Yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot can change. I mean, and there's no guarantees that Josh will be uh, a full-time first baseman. Even uh, maybe even in you know things can change in, in a couple of weeks and a couple of months. Uh, you know you keep hearing that uh, obviously he could be a long-term down the road replacement for Pedro Alvarez at first base because everybody just assumes you know Pedro won't be here whenever it's his time to go, free agent. Uh, but you, you hear you know whispers that maybe Gregory Polanco might be might be a, a trade piece. And if Gregory would end up being traded somewhere. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if the Pirates shift Josh Bell back to the outfield. And in that sort of situation, maybe it could, you know, make him, maybe shorten his learning curve, obviously, and it maybe quicken his uh, ETA in the minor in the major leagues. So at this point, yeah, 17 or 18, if he's, hey, that one almost got me. If he's a first baseman, yeah, we're looking at a couple of three years. Uh, if he goes back to the outfield, all bets are off. guy who you might have seen uh, whack a home run just a few hours ago at PNC Park. But I think the Pirates looking for another first baseman and if so, who? 
Yeah, I am. I, I do think they are looking around for a first baseman. It's not necessarily an easy thing to acquire, um, especially if you're looking for an impact guy. I think a guy that they would love to have, and again, everybody would love to have, is Paul Goldschmidt. There's nothing but no indication at all that he's a guy that the uh, Diamondbacks would consider moving. So again, you remember we heard talk about Lynn earlier in the season, uh, in the, the preseason, the offseason. Yeah, I'm sure they'll poke around and there's guys we're looking at. Uh, as I tweeted a few hours ago, uh, the Pirates have talked to the Phillies, whether or not this gets any legs or not. They've talked to the Phillies uh, about Ben Revere and Jeff Frank Kerr, who are a couple of outfielders. I think uh, Revere especially would be a good fit. He's a good leadoff guy. Doesn't hit for a lot of power, but he's got uh, double-digit steal potential in those legs. And unlike Gregor Polanco, I think even he slides in second, he generally tends to stay at second base and <laughs> not head in the left field. So, uh, yeah, I think first base is what they're looking for. They could use another pitcher. They could use some bullpen help, uh, middle relief. And I know they're looking, uh, they're looking at some guys in the uh, National League West, uh, some middle relievers there. Uh, and the Arizona Diamondbacks might be a potential trading partner there. Uh, not for Goldschmidt, but uh, maybe for some middle relief help. I don't, want to, I don't want to get you too enthused about the, the potential of Goldschmidt ending up in the Pirates lineup. Uh, although, gosh, that would be uh, <laughs> that would be pretty uh, pretty good fit, you would think. But no, I don't think that uh, that's an option at this point. We'll see. All right. Well, there's one last uh, look at uh, Josh Bell working out here. Like I said, media day, workout day. I think the Celebrity All-Star softball game, whatever the heck that is, is later on. But for now, we're getting ready for the World Baseball Classic. And I'm going to pack up my camera here and head back up to the press box and uh, start cranking out some stuff for later. So thanks for tuning in. And uh, enjoy the All-Star weekend.